Oh, no, no, this is interesting. You guys are here for a happening. Yeah, so I mean, I guess check that off your list. I don't sit down like this very often. I'm waiting for a robot. Because I never know. I'm going to start something up and he's like, don't let him fucking tell you that Vancouver sucks. I lived in a yurt in the 60s and it was fucking great. I love living in yurts. And by the way, the rims at Tim Hortons are excellent. <laughs> Fucking run to my room. I'd be like, oh my God! There is, I believe in you now! That's the perfect distraction. I just, I. Give him a stick I will tell more if I'm not gonna leave this like this. So just so you know. I do want to get the stuff over there before it started again. There's no point, it was just gonna go right off the rail. And it was going fine. He woke up. <laughs> oh. Oh, cops. Cops are coming. <laughs> I mean, if any of you are feeling awkward, take a little bit of solace in the fact that not everybody else in the room is looking at you. <laughs> Because I know that you individually are like, I'm a little, oh, this is kind of, I'm like, oh yeah, the lights and the this, and I have to do things. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm on my golf course. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we golfed with these lovely people today, and uh, I was doing okay on the front nine. And uh, went to fucking shit real bad. Uh, oh, I had a bar. I had a bar. It's my second time golfing as an adult. I had a bar. I feel like that was okay. It was a decent one. It was a decent bar. Yeah. I mean, when we were like hanging out today, we 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 really connected. And what I love is that like. This happened, and I needed you right now. <laughs> Golf, eh? There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. The tension's gone. It was serendipitous. It was too fucking. It was great. All right. Um. <laughs> well, now that it's so fucking funny. It's funny you could go anywhere else. He's still here. I don't know that. And his one good friend who was like, I'm fucking sticking around for this guy. He fucking got me out of jail in Mexico that one time. Even he's like, you're on your fucking own, Larry. I can't do it anymore. That's what happened tonight. We watched the destruction of like a 40-year friendship. And this guy was like, don't let him tell you who to vote for. And that's... Needed to die. I've been that drunk, but it's usually at like five in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy. That's Pete. Larry's in the corner. He's doing it down. I was going with Larry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to get back. Okay, so look, I was talking about old people voting, and I'm going to go back to it. <laughs> old, old conservatives do go after the old. <laughs> oh, shit. Will you shut up? There you go. I love when the crowd starts to, to eat the hecklers alive. You know? Shut up. Thank you. Maybe we should wait for the I mean, yeah. that's a really good and wishful thinking. But he has had ample opportunity. He is. I don't think this ends 
with him leaving. <laughs> 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 His head being used to open a door. <laughs> like, he's gonna fucking die on this hill. He's not going anywhere. So, let's talk about old white people. Let's talk about old white people. I like some old white people. Fuck it. Bring us to task. <laughs> Fucking burn you. Are you? No. We saw some BBC fucking signs on the way here, and I'm like, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, but no, okay, so. Conservatives go after the old white vote. The reason why they go after the old white vote, old white people vote. They love to fucking vote. It's a great, solid vote to go after. Because they do, they, they circle election day on the calendar, right? They wake up at 6 a.m. on the day of, they eat a hard-boiled egg, and they ruin our futures. <laughs> Right? They fucking love it! And you can rile up the old white vote, it's easy. All you gotta do to get the old white vote on your side, right? You just gotta go into a camera once and go, you know, you're losing your country, right? And they go, you're goddamn right! <laughs> losing this country to immigrants coming in here and taking our jobs. Like, yeah, you wanted to open a kebab shop. <laughs> guy just came in and stole your kebab shop idea from his culture. I mean, let him have the kebab shop. Right? I was going to open Earl's Kebab Shop. Then he opens Muhammad's Kebab Shop down the street. Who are we going to trust the kebab from? Right? Not Earl. I think onions are spicy. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm putting kebabs on Wonder Bread. That's not a kebab, right? 